is there any scientific evidence that people are born gay? Well, the short, short answer to that is none whatsoever. Our culture is being misled by the secular media and by the gay political agenda. The off-sited studies where, that were conducted by gay researchers, they've all admitted when pressed that their studies offer no proof of a biological or a genetic origin of homosexuality. The studies touted by the press as proving a genetic cause actually have proved just the opposite. Two studies in particular, the identical twin study and the Hamer genetic study. In the genetic twin study in particular, you had a study where you had genetically identical twins and one turned out homosexual and one turned out heterosexual quite often in that study. So what you actually proved was that it could not be ge determined by genetics because they were genetically identical. But the press told us just the opposite. The top scientists, sexologists, geneticists from around the world decry the misinformation that has been generated by these gay studies, including scientists from Brown University, Oxford University, Johns Hopkins University, the Salk Institute, the National Institute of Mental Health, and many other places. The very idea that genetics can be determinative in such a broad behavioral area as sexual behavior is also seriously flawed. The APA, the American Psychiatric Association pronouncements have been politically motivated and do not reflect scientific data or even the consensus of thought among practicing psychotherapists. The last study done showed that 69% of the membership of the APA disagree with the theory that there is nothing disordered in homosexuality. Dr. Jeffrey Satinover points out in his excellent book, Homosexuality and the Politics of Truth, that if homosexual orientation were the result of physiological causes, you would have expected to have seen the homosexual population die out thousands of years ago by virtue of their extremely low reproductive rate. There has to be a continual non-genetic factor at work, such as we've seen in our work, with issues related to family, brokenness, and child abuse.